Hey, welcome to unit three of our application programming class. So in this unit, we're going to be focusing on Android design patterns. So let's talk about some of the programs that we'll be focusing on in unit three. So first of all, we're going to work on a program called MathQuiz. So MathQuiz will create some problems for the user to solve. It will show a math equation and the user clicks the button to show the answer. So the point of this program is not so much that it is a math quiz, but it is a complex layout. It has a grid pattern of buttons. It has multiple text views. It has lots of constraints. And it works with a class that is in the background doing the work so that, that the, uh, the program that does the uh, layout view doesn't have to handle all of that code. We'll also talk about explicit intents. Now an explicit intent says, I want to go from page one of an application to page two. And so that sounds very simple, but there's a process that you need to learn called intents. It means intending to turn the page. So it's not a guarantee, but it will probably work if you program your program color correctly. And so intents are coming up. And then we'll talk about the life cycle events of an application. And so the life cycle events include things like starting, stopping, pausing, resuming, and rotating the application. And so surprisingly, when you rotate an application, it basically shuts the application off, restarts it. And so all of your data is lost if you were like in the middle of a game. And so there is a specific way to program the uh, intent to rotate your program so that way it doesn't restart. You just save your place and then restart the program in the exact same place when it rotates. Also, I'm going to give you a math quiz challenge. And so based on what you learn in the life cycle events, we're going to fix the math quiz so that it works more properly in the, uh, in the final version. And so that's what we have here in unit number three.